Let's get it. Peace, peace, y'all. Peace in. Peace in, y'all. Peace in. Palo Santo. All right. <clears throat> What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Where, 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 where the people at? Where my people at? Okay, I see, I see my eye. What's going on? How you doing today? Rising goddess, peace, peace, peace. Uh, what's going on, loyal goddess? Rising goddess, I see you. Cuban ghost, peace, man, peace, my brother. Love always. What's going on? What's going on? Playgirl Vixen. Hey. We in here, y'all. We here. We definitely here. So. Uh, as we let the as we let the people come in here, you know. I got uh, some evidence to show y'all. We got some shit to talk about. Richie Martini, 617. Nah, I don't work at no Home Depot. Sorry to uh, burst your bubble. I don't work at no Home Depot. I never did. What? What we talking about today? What we talking about today? We talking about today. What's the word? What's the mathematics, God? Nah, I ain't no God. I don't call me no God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call me no God, bro. It ain't even um, no shade to no dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's not who I am. Even though, even though we do come from the dog star, right? The dog star serious. But still, I I am happy. I am happy because I'm done with this earth. I am happy because I'm done with this earth. Yeah, yo, y'all, y'all like the y'all tap that button, please. Tap that like button, that love button. No gifts. And remember, no gifts. No gifts. We don't do gifts over here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, love, y'all. No gifts, just hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that love button. So everybody knows. Um are you going to heaven? Cold in Maine. Let me ask you a question. Where is heaven? I just want to know where where is heaven? Peace, peace, my brother. Peace, peace, peace. Cold in Maine. Where 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 is where is heaven? I just want to know. That's where to you, where is heaven? Richie, nice answer, Richie. Nice and nice answer, uh Liz Desire. Liz Desire. What is heaven? I know, but he does, yeah. What's heaven? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's the kingdom of God. Mm. The kingdom of God. Now a king wears a crown, right? First of all, where's my crown at? Right. A king wears a crown, right? Right. And kingdom, they're re- referencing my dome. So the kingdom, right? Of God, right? So wouldn't that mean it's in my mind? Wouldn't that mean it's in my head? Because predicated upon my vibration, my frequency, you know, my being, then I can be with, I could be with, I could be either in heaven or in hell, right? Either I'm in my lower self or in my higher self, okay? Either I'm in my lower self or in my higher self. This is the whole thing with, uh, uh, this is, this, see, this is the whole thing that 
religion. Matter of fact, I was just talking to, I was not, not talking, but I popped up on a live, Last Strong In, right? On a Saturday. I seen this pastor, this melanated pastor. He's in, he's in a, he's in a, he's in a van, right? And he's got like about almost 300 people in his life, right? He's got about 300 people in his life. So I see, you know, oh, oh, oh. May the Lord anoint you today. Uh, 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 drop that cash app for me today. Uh. This this nigga saying all this shit, huh? Yeah, uh, he told me you're going to get a new car. Meanwhile, he's in his van and that shit falling apart. You can see the top of it. You can see the top of the roof and everything. But he's there preaching, right? Telling people that God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. But he, the, the only thing he needs blessing is his fucking the van that he's in. So I asked him. I was like... So I'm 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 going I'm going in the comments. You know, I just wanna I just wanna see what he's going what's going on. So I gauge him. I was like, yo, and I uh I was like, yo, I was like, why does I said, why does the Bible say the uh that God, the Lord God, is a sun and shield? He's looking like this. Why does the Bible say the God is look? He was like, I'm praying for you, brother. Oh my God, the devil is sending him here. The devil is sending him here. And I pray to God, he have mercy on your soul. And the devil don't get your name because he's coming in here and messing up my testimony and my sermon. All I, so he's going off on a tangent saying stuff like this. All I asked him was, why does the Bible say the God, God is, a, is, is the son of shield? This is what I want to know. Why does the Bible say that? So obviously, God is not a person. God is not a person. And then every ever since I'm, I'm like, because I ask him the I keep asking him a question all over and over again, and he's answering everybody's question but except mine. And he was like, you know what, brother, the the Lord is telling me to block you. <laughs> he was like, the Lord Jesus Christ is telling me to block you. So I'm gonna do you a favor and I'm gonna block you, okay? Because you don't you don't need to be coming out here in my life and messing up my testimony while I'm preaching to this people. And everybody, I'm like saying, Amen, hallelujah. I'm saying this shit, amen, hallelujah. <laughs> but it goes to show you, man, these guys they can't take it. Once you start asking questions that make sense or to them it don't make sense then they can't even they can't answer it then they're like okay i don't, I don't know what to do at that point in time because the, they only know a certain amount of information they only know a certain amount of information but once you break that once you break the bible down for them it's it's it's, it's over for them it's over for them it's over for them because again the bible the bible is all about astrology i just <laughs> the bible is all about astrology and then here's Hold on. The Bible is all about astrology. But I was going to ask him. I was going to ask him one more time. I was going to ask him, so what color was Jesus? But he kicked me out before I asked him that. He was he was not answering my question and he kicked me out. But welcome to the lie, y'all. Here we go. Peace. Peace to everybody in the chat. Peace to everybody in the live, right? It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, someone says it's sad how... Not someone. I'm, HP Morningstar said, it's sad how many people still believe in the devil. Fear program. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, but again, the devil is just anything or anybody that is against nature. You know, because this is what um, the devil is. Devil, devil spells live backwards. So if you're not living in nature, if you're not living in harmony with nature... If it, this is in your bloodline, if you're not living in harmony with nature, then you are being a devil because nature has a certain amount of ways that it moves, um, how it reacts and everything like that. And if you're totally against that, then you are literally being a devil. You know, for instance, right. Um, I've talked about this before. You have natural you have natural things here. You have natural things here like herbs, fruits, vegetables. You have you have a devil called uh, Rockefeller. Right. Where he came in and made all these natural things illegal, he enacted in it. He enacted it, make it illegal through through the law. So anybody who would try to go out and make and get natural things, he would basically uh, uh, imprison you or fine you, whatever that, whatever whatever consequences he made that. And 
Now, in order to basically get healing, you would need pharmaceuticals. You need to go to the you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to a doctor, um, which is which is under the Hippocratic oath, right? Because they are being hypocrites because they don't even know how to heal nobody. Um, and yeah, so this is what basically being a devil is because they are literally against nature. They don't want you to be healed in nature because they can't capitalize off of nature. This is literally being a devil. They can't capitalize off of nature because they want to make money off of you. So that's what being a devil is literally all about. When you are living against nature, when you have no connection with nature, no correlation with nature, then you are literally being a devil. So um, we have nothing but devils that are running this world through, and it, and it starts at the higher level, right? It starts at the higher level. You have humans that are devils. You have human beings that are devil, which you call the agreeable, the disagreeables, uh, the disagreeables who are the devils, right? Or you can call them bad. And then you have a, amongst that, you have other beings who are in higher dimensions, which in the fourth dimension, which is a 90 degree angle above ours. So the way that it's stacked, kind of like CDs, right? It's stacked upon each other. You have another dimension on top of another dimension, another dimension, another dimension. Um, and then how it works is, how it works is basically you have higher beings just looking down on you and they can see you. They can manipulate you in that sense. They can come into your ears. They can come into your bodies if your vibration is low enough and they can manip manipulate you. So this is how dimensions work. Um, I still need to do that live on dreams and whatnot. And I'm going to show a video that explains dimensions even better. So that being said, y'all, I got a few things to show y'all. I got a few things to show y'all, okay? Um, so I'm aware, I'm aware that I need to finish that live. Mm-hmm. I apologize, y'all. If y'all need to, um, I'm, let me let me read some of the stuff. Let me read some of the stuff. They may get hard to get natural. Yep, yeah, facts. Yeah. I need to start being better at reading my my comments. They don't want anyone to claim their sovereignty. Per yeah, exactly. HP. DB of madness, natural versus artificial. Um, yes, that would be nice. Please do. Welcome to the live. Please respect. Appreciate love that. Have you personally raised your Christos or Kundalini energy? Um, I'm here, ain't I, baby? <laughs> I'm still on the planet. The planet is rising her frequency. Her Kundalini energy is rising. And if nobody, if the people aren't matching that Kundalini energy, you guys are going to be wipe off the face of the earth because with all the <laughs> with all this stuff that's happening y'all again what's happening is two earths are being not even created but you have the fifth dimension of the world and the, and the third dimension of the world that's splitting apart okay you have the unnatural and the natural splitting apart it's only in the 3d where you have the negative entities and the positive entities that are living that are coinciding in the same dimension okay but once you get above a certain um frequency once you get a certain above frequency, you cannot have that. Let me, let me show you. Well, you cannot have that. This separates. The, the, the frequencies literally separates once you get above a certain vibration. And this is what's happening to Earth right now. Mm. But I am aware I need to finish that live with y'all. I'm aware of that, and this is what I need to do. Check this out. Um, so look, right? So right now we are going we are going through the fourth dimension, okay? So this is a portal. This is a portal in time right now that we're going through, okay? So as you can see, once you get above 500, then you are what's love, love frequency. This is what's causing us. So again, this is why a lot of us now people are becoming more telepathic. You're in your mind a lot now, right? People are finding their their uh their passion, what their what their purpose here on earth is for, right? Um the most important thing, y'all, the most important thing when it comes to this frequency is forgiveness. And the for forgiveness is for yourself, okay? Because when you break down that word, you have four, 
give, okay? Forgiveness within, okay? Forgiveness. So when you are forgiving yourself, when you are forgiving others, you are forgiving yourself and another person because, again, you are a reflection of that other person. So it's very important in that sense. So um, when it comes to when it comes to this, right now, imagine imagine us vibrating. Um, imagine us vibrating and now we're becoming telepathic, right? The energies are coming in where you're becoming one with Earth because now Earth is coming back alive. That's why all this stuff is going on. All that activity is going on. Earth is coming back alive. So you are breaking out of the old paradigm, the old magnetic field lines, the old 3D magnetic field lines and are um, connecting to the new fourth dimension, uh, fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional um, magnetic field lines, right? So now that is a sense of oneness connecting with the mother earth the reason why you become a telepathic because every single person that's going to be on earth is connected to that magnetic grid line so once you connect it's a theory you can't really see it okay so you connect with it and now you're literally connected to any and everything that any any and every other person that is here on earth so now remember all the lies all the lies that were hidden right this is why all this shit is coming out all the lies all the atrocities, all the egregious things that were done. That's why everything is coming out to the surface right now. It needs to be cleaned out in order for us to get to the to the point that where we can trust you. How, how am I going to be able to trust you if the lies that were hidden from us ain't come out? Hmm? You, you, shit, you might, you might stab me in the back and I don't know that. You know, everything, we need to start from a clear slate, from a clear slate. And that includes removing people who don't belong here on the planet. The removal of people who don't belong here on the planet. So... Um, yeah, so I'm aware I need to finish that live with y'all. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is, um, this is, oh, hold on. Let me pull up one more article for y'all. Hold on. Um, right. So this has to do with, so, um, now, a oh, matter of fact, let me see. This looks like there's a video for it. No, there was no, no video, but, but um, so I'm about to play this video on Proxima, Proxima Centauri. Okay, the Centaurians that are basically in the inner Earth. Okay, um, so in Paradise, California, there was these beings that are basically living here in the Earth, right? And these are our, uh, these are our family. Okay, they are basically the ones that have been living in inner Earth. One of the one of the groups that have been living in inner Earth. Okay. Because a lot of people, some of the individuals who are in high vibration, right, who still can't take that nine ether sun are living in the inner earth. Okay. You have your eight ethers and your seven ethers that are living in the inner earth. Okay. These are the, these are the mixed breeds. Okay. These are the mixed breeds that are living in the inner earth. So you have Proxima Centauri because I've told you all before, this is not only on earth that you have the the human slave it's called the human slave project right where they basically take um us and they basically do the same thing that they've been doing yeah splicing our g splicing our dna and creating other um other beings with it um and um and other animal parts and all that type of stuff that's what they do did not just this planet but proxima centauri just basically had its own solar flare right i showed this last year Proxima Centauri shoots out humongous flare with big implications for uh, for alien life. So they basically had their solar flare. OK, they basically had their solar flare and this affected them on a, on, a, on a level. Now, the, the fact of the matter is when this happened, because they know it. Now they're messing with that. Now they're messing with my life. When this happened, they knew it. They were trying to come to the service and basically contact us and let us know what was going on. Right. Well, the government wasn't having none of that. But I'm about to show y'all the video. Like I said, I went through hell to find this video. Every time I went to find it, I had to go through some... I, I basically had to use a VPN to find this video, okay? I basically had to use a VPN to find this video, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this video. It's about... On today's Edge of Hold on, let me... 
backyard fast. And it was in the Let me get it to a point. Extra set book, you know. That I'm re actually in Rob and I were talking. Alright, let me show y'all. A dog. Alright, let's get it. I'm gonna show y'all this right quick. Let's But this is a very interesting video. Now, now I want y'all to watch. Just, just read body language, man. Just read body language. Body language is one of the most important things that you can do. It is a form of communication. Body language is another form of telepathy, just in case you didn't know. That's like one of the first forms of telepathy, body language. Body language. Where the text is like an inch tall in the book, you know. That I'm reading this adult stuff with no pictures. Man, that's an awesome story. You know that you started that early. Yeah, I, I to be honest, it's it's almost very similar to my own story. Just listen I, to him. I had really crazy experiences as well, and dreams, and kind of things visiting me as well. Um, we won't get into that right now, but. But actually, and Rob and I were talking so about... So basically, he's lying. Basically, basically book, he's lying. Basically, he's lying. checked out a library. But let's I was, continue. I was in second grade. It was The Lost City of Atlantis and a book on um, the Bermuda Triangle. And I've been, like, into this stuff ever since. So, that's what's, yeah. so it's kind of interesting. I just watched Goonies a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like we were all so on what they, path. So what they do is... And we all have a what, purpose. Look at them. Destiny, I guess. With this. Look at it. So he's unsure himself. But basically, these these two guys. Um, again, I'm gonna tell y'all this, right? All right. This is this this is where we need to find, uh, get here. Um, so again, David Wilcock. I I I like David Wilcock, right? Because he's not. <sighs> He's not afraid to tell the truth, even though when he has told the truth before, they have stopped him. They removed a lot of his um, videos online because he has been telling the truth. He was one of the very first few whistleblower. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say whistleblower. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's say whistleblower. He was one of the very first few whistleblowers who came out and basically told us that the government does not want melanated people to know that we come from somewhere else. So the African Americans, that they, the the, the so-called African Americans. The government does not want us to know that we are not from Earth, that we don't come here from Earth, that we are the extraterrestrials, that we have extraterrestrial genome, okay? Um, and ever since he said that, they've been literally messing with him. You think David actually... No, David was actually created in a lab. David Wilcock was actually created in a lab. And he actually states this in one of... Uh, in one of his videos I watched last year, okay? A uh, plenty of these, I'm gonna tell y'all, plenty of these whistleblowers, and I have this video that I cannot find that I that I put it up somewhere and I cannot find it anywhere anymore. But there's plenty of all these whistleblowers that were in the military industrial complex that were out here that are talking to extraterrestrials and and going to the going to uh, uh um who's part of the military industrial complex who's meeting other um insiders and whatnot they were lab created they were lab created and a lot and a couple of them have said that david wilcock has said that and he's also has he's also stated that he has been a product of sra if you don't know what that means it is basically it's called satanic ritual abuse that's what it's that's what it stands for so sra whenever you hear sra sra that's what it stands for satanic ritual abuse and also laura eisenhower laura eisenhower is the granddaughter of uh uh president eisenhower dwight eisenhower is it dwight eisenhower yeah dwight eisenhower who was one of the presidents she also stated that she was created in a lab as well in a petri dish so uh i'm gonna try to find this video and and you know prove it to y'all because yeah, it's it, it it's 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 totally different when it's coming out of the horse's mouth. When it's coming out of the horse's mouth, ain't no surprise because a lot of these people are artificial, anyways. So this that's how they were created in the first place. So ain't no surprise when you hear them say that. I was like, oh my, it's a shock. Oh, they weren't born in a womb. No, a lot of them they were not born in a room. Remember, remember this. Uh, remember uh, uh, this is uh, what's it called? Um, the Cabbage Patch Kids, y'all. The Cabbage Patch Kids. This this is them. This is them. All right. If they're in your face, if they're in your face majority of the time, that's all you see and this is all the people who talk about, this is them. But let's get it. I saw her dropping shit too. I saw all those videos some years back. Yeah, Lola Eisenhower be dropping some shit, you know? They talk about going to Mars, using a portal, going to Mars, going to all that shit. Um, 
But check this out, man. This is an interesting video, man. See, this is the type of shit that we melanated people can't talk about, we cannot experience because they don't want us in the military industrial complex. Why? Because they would see that the people who are at the top, they are us. The people who are at the top, they are our family. But I'm alleged, but let's continue. It's fake is fake. Oh man, congratulations. I'm 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 glad you just realized that. I'm glad you just realized that. Thank 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 you for telling us that. Thank you very much, uh, the Crimson Chin. Thank you. Appreciate love that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's continue. You have two fires show up simultaneously right after a mass shooting where the one in Southern California, the mass shooting is just a couple miles away from where the fire starts. And so then you see that because there's also a fire in Northern California, that's even worse, that they have to take all these resources and throw them up to the North so they can't fight the fire in the South. And at the same time, we've now learned that they had these planes called super tankers that can literally do, you know, football fields wide of a curtain of water for miles and, and completely destroy a wildfire. And they've been used in many other countries. You can just go scoop it out of the ocean, fly over, drop the stuff down, go scoop another one, fly over, drop it down, and it will completely destroy that fire. And yet, because of red tape and because of, oh, all, we got to approve it and authorize it. And it's all caught up in red tape. They were sitting on the tarmac and they were never used as literally the entire left side of all the vegetation in LA and Ventura County was completely burned. And I've been out here in Los Angeles to see this and it is unbelievable. If you, if you haven't lived here, if you don't actually know about what this is like and where this burned, I can tell you this, there has never been something like this in LA before. It's unbelievable. The scope of the devastation is unbelievable. And it's so much worse than an earthquake because even in an earthquake, a bad earthquake, right? There's still a house standing there, usually. There's some kind of structure. Maybe you got to repair some of your foundation or maybe some walls collapse, but you still have a house. A wildfire is even worse than a massive earthquake because it just burns it right down to the ash. Unbelievable. And then you got to ask yourself again, was this a satanic ritual? Did they perform a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice with the Thousand Oaks shooting, okay? With an obvious mind controlled military veteran shooter you know in the military lots of people end up going through this kind of mk ultra stuff in military service and then three hours later more or less is when this fire starts is it's it's too suspicious because it looks to me like first they do the blood sacrifice then they did the sacrificial fire and it's all part of this weird cult which again if if you follow what's going on with QAnon. These guys are losing. They're losing fast. There is an alliance. I know that it's existing because I've met people in it. I've been getting briefings on it since 2009, way before the Q stuff started last year. And you can't dispute that <laughs> this alliance is real and that we're going to see indictments getting unsealed. We're going to see people getting put away. There will be a massive avalanche event of awakening, and it's coming soon. So this is what they call a black David, awakening. let me ask you a question um, related to this. This is really what we wanted yeah. to talk to you yeah. about, a, a lot of it. And <laughs> gonna, we, fires. What, it's going to get a lot more interesting, y'all. is that in our research... It's going to get a lot more interesting. For Mommy Davidson, we are basically um, watching what happened in Paradise, California with the, with the fires that were happening a couple of years ago. This is the, this is the truth of what really happened, what went down. Where modern people fail is we are too naive to see all of the different things that are connecting that actually lead to, for instance, the California wildfires. As an example, if you actually dig in and you research serial killers, 
and your research, all of the things that were going on around the serial killers, you actually no, start break, right? finding a narrative that actually points to satanic rituals, satanic ritual abuse, no, these the kinds of things. But all the information they're telling you is exactly, basically, that these were just, it was just this crazy case of this little boy misunderstanding things, growing up weird, and then going crazy and killing people when they get older. And, Couldn't be further from and, the truth. And it's completely isolated from yeah. everything else. Doesn't isolated. relate to anything else. Exactly. But when you really start looking into it, and, it, and for the California wildfires especially, if you start looking into what was going on around the California wildfires, like what you stated, what was going on in Florida with the election and all of that stuff. Well, and then at the same time you have the whole immigrant caravan. Yeah, the immigrants, the caravan same stuff. Same time happening. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a huge distraction. I mean, what, what do you have to say to people who have a hard time putting those things together? For the, for the, who said patience, patience. They were saying is a reincarnated bird. I mean, again, these people are recycled. All these people are recycled. Like, the reason why he looks like Edgar Casey is because he, he is Edgar Casey. All these people are recycled. None of these people are original. They are recycled all over and over again. They just have different names, a little bit of different face here and there. They use the same. They use the same. Um, they use the same genes, right? And then they just change their facial features just a little bit. There's plenty of videos of showing other, other individuals are playing other individuals. They're not it's together. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. You know this better than anyone. I mean, how can we wake more people up by helping them see the patterns in these things? Well, and right, be right before you answer that, so recently I've been getting uh, messages from from friend or some fans from on Facebook who live in California and are affected by these wildfires, and they're telling me like I've been through a lot of wi wildfires being in California, and this is the strangest one I've ever seen. And they're, they're like convinced. I mean, I'm getting a few messages like this. They're convinced that, you know, they're showing me photos of like the fire. And then you're seeing also photos where it's like one side of the street is fine. The other side is like, there, it seems like there's, it's almost like being selective. And Cars are melting. <laughs> Cars melt at like 3000 degrees centigrade, the metal. Like that is, wildfires don't do that. Like there's weird stuff going well, and on. And then it'll affect one car and it seems to almost like kind of skip over other cars. Anyway, they're also trying to like, this just seems too weird for me, you know, and they're just like, we, they wanted us to look into this. And I was like, well, great. We can ask David Wilcock what he thinks someone about said, this as well. Someone said they wonder why um, super soldiers were never black. That, the, reason why, the reason why super soldiers... Wait, hold on, y'all. The reason why super, super soldiers are, aren't um, melanated and they cannot be melanated is because our melanin actually coats. It protects itself. So it cannot be spliced. It cannot be spliced. They can clone us. They can clone us, but they cannot be us. They can't. They can't enter our. They cannot enter our vessel. Remember, we have a higher gene sequence. We have a higher gene sequence than any other person in this world. Okay, when they're literally talking about the gods, nigga, we are the gods. You can't copy it. You can't be a god. You can't be a god unless you were born a god. So that's why our melanin protects us from all this type of shit, gene splicing and all that shit. How would you guys like a world exclusive of something very classified? Hit us! <laughs> Bring it! This is crazy, okay? Because ever since about, I guess, 2007, I've been in touch with this particular insider who called himself Henry Deacon with Project Camelot. You guys probably remember that. And he was the first person to really educate me about the secret space program, he had a base that he would go to work at in the UK, and he would have to talk to people at a desk when he got towards the end of this thing, and they would make sure that he was normal in the way that he talked, and then he would go down this hallway called the corridor, a big round tunnel, and then at the end of the tunnel was an elevator, and he would use a key, a typical house key, and they said it would reduce psychological impact to do it this way. He would turn the key in the elevator, the door would close, and when the door would open, he claimed that he was on Mars. And it was a portal system. Now, he was working within a world in which he would apparently drive to work, park at this military base, walk through the corridor, take the elevator, the elevator takes him to Mars, he does shifts on Mars, he comes back and he goes home in the UK, okay? A lot of weird stuff that he told me. 
including the fact that there were 200,000 personnel on this Mars base, but only 10,000 of them were actually born on Earth. The, one of the things that he told me early along that I found really surprising was that the people that he was talking to that were not born on Earth, nonetheless, for the most part, looked very human-like. Some of them had skin that was kind of a pastel pink. Some of them looked pastel yellow. Some of them looked green, orange, blue, light blue, dark blue. Some people had jet black skin, um, like really jet black. And there was all different variations of people who looked more or less like us, but something's a little off, here, there, or the otherwise. There were certain things that he and others have told me over the years that I absolutely was not ever going to disclose. And there's a variety of reasons for that. Um, my goal is not just to wow people with fantastic sounding information. I really do observe the secrecy for the protection of my insiders. I want to never break confidentiality. I want to be that guy who has integrity so you can come to me with information and trust that unless you ask me to make it go public, it's not going anywhere. And that's how I've been able to do this so long. That's how I've gotten so many insiders on my side. You're not going to hear any real, true story. You might get disinformation, but there's not going to be a true story about me betraying somebody. Okay, that's the preface. Now let's get into the meat of this thing. Some of the humans that they deal with routinely in our military industrial complex are people who look pretty much just like us. And they might have subtle differences, but not that many. Now, one of the people, I've been tracking this group for many, many years, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys some new stuff that nobody's heard about these folks before. These are people who look like us for the most part. The men are really buff. They're, they have really strong looking bodies. Um, they're, they might be a little bit taller than we are. And if you see them the way they naturally would look, their skin is pretty darn pale. It's a little bit too pale, like it looks a little bit too white. And they have white hair, which is another strange thing. If you see them in their native form, their eyes will either be a dark blue or a violet color, which we do not have. And then another interesting thing is that their pupil is kind of like a diamond shape. It's now, all right. Before we finish this off, right, I'm about to show y'all this right quick. Because, again, they these people always do this, try to make them look like they are um, white, right? But let me show y'all this right quick, right? This is, this, is, um, this is Barry Littleton, right? He's been in the um, UFO. He's been in the UFO community for a very long time. And I've said this before. He just basically found it out that the extraterrestrials beyond this planet, they are melanated. And he speaks on the Alpha Centaurians. The next place, um, and this is one of the things I just put up here, a book called The Thenobia Proce uh, Prophecy um, by a gentleman named Des Marquet. Um, very good book, actually, that few seem to have heard about. I read it many years ago. But um, in this book, he talks about beings that claim to be from the constellation Centaur. All right, and in the constellation of Centaur, you've got three species. One which is melanin dominant, as in blacks, all right? And you have another that are Polynesian uh, looking, Polynesian looking, and another that looked of Chinese descent. Okay, and all that came here and helped populate Earth, all right? Before the things that we're hearing about currently, all right? And when it comes to the Polynesians, you see some of the Olmec, not just the Olmecs, but the, um, the Easter Island statues. Some of them were claiming to be those beings, the Moas, some of these were them too, all right? But also interesting in this um, book, they describe also another species that are from right. that. Basically, they're all, they're basically all melanated, even the Polynesians, okay? Hold on, hold on, let me see. But yeah, let's continue to this. So it's not reptilian. It's not this vertical slit, but it's, it's, a, it's a diamond instead of round, okay? So that's gonna look a little creepy, a little weird. Uh, another thing about them is that they have a little bit of a our, our soft palate in the top of our mouth is flat. Theirs is like a cat. It has ridges, really thick, deep ridges. 
Now, these people supposedly, at least what they've claimed, is that they came from Alpha Centauri. So one of the names that I've heard used for them, and I've heard this for many years, is Centaurians. Okay, so they are the Centaurians. You hear that? And so you see, you see how he basically said they are the Centaurians, but again, the Centaurians, they are melanated beings, dumb melanated dominant beings. Again, it's just the same thing that's happening here is the same thing that's happening throughout the solar system. You know, they go in and create these other races of beings amongst us to confuse us, right? To cause disharmony within them uh, within them. Again, it's happening throughout our whole solar system, not just here. Messing with my live, bro. Look, y'all, they messing with my live, man. Yeah, y'all yeah, see they they messing with my live, man. That's not me. That is not me. They are messing with my live. My uh my connection keeps going on and off. Nah, man. It's, it, they do this shit, man. This shit is so annoying, man. Whenever whenever I'm getting to the meat of this situation, you see what I'm saying? Whenever the good stuff is coming, they always do this. Okay, what's going on, Shiki Nene? What's going on? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to play this, y'all. If yeah, I'm gonna just continue to play this, y'all. I'm gonna continue to play this. All right, let's let's see. I'm gonna continue to play this real quick. Okay. Because they don't want people to know what's been going on. They run it back just a little bit, okay? Run it back just a little bit. At least what they've claimed is that they came from Alpha Centauri. So one of the names that I've heard used for them, and I've heard this for many years, is Centaurians, okay? So here's our, here's Alpha Centauri, okay? Okay, this is, this, this is where Alpha Centauri is, okay? Now, again, this is in our solar system. It's, it's literally in our solar system, the Centaurians. So, um... Okay, let's get it. Okay, so they are the Centaurians. And they there apparently have been treaties where the Centaurians are allowed to walk around in our everyday world. Uh, one of the people who has actually talked about this is Paul Hellier, the former Canadian Minister of Defense, in which he's talking about these people being authorized to walk around in Nevada. And maybe even uh, there's one case he talks about where they were dressed up like nuns. And so the nun, you know, with the habit and everything, they look a little different. Now, normally the Centaurians are going to wear contact lenses to hide the, especially if they have the violet color of their eyes. I still got red on my phone, man. Yeah, I know, y'all. Um, they are messing with my live. I don't, I don't know what this I don't know what to say, y'all. This is ridiculous, man. You see, they don't want the they don't want shit coming out. You see, this is why they're trying to this is why they're trying to shut down TikTok. This is exactly why they're trying to shut down TikTok. I don't have nothing on my phone. I don't have no apps up on my phone. Whenever I go live, I make sure this is the only thing that I that I have on my phone. But yes. So what I was saying about the alpha about these people, right? So just like how they have, they take earthlings, earthlings, created earthlings from here and they bring them to other parts of the galaxy. They do the same thing and see, they do the same thing from there as well. So they'll grab other beings from like Alpha Centauri. They'll grab, they'll grab other beings from other places throughout the, throughout the solar system, right? Which is basically, it's just a flat realm. It's just a flat realm. That's what we're on. We're on a little flat realm. So they, if they can, if they can go outside um, use jump rooms, jump portals, right? Because if you, if I, I don't know, I forgot what movie this is, but there's movies where you can go into hotel rooms, specifically the Hiltons. There's a lot of Hiltons, and I have this this uh, this military insider who's actually said this to me, where um, one time um, they went to a Hilton, right, and they put her next to um, a jump room, and she had no idea. And when she went to go, she was in the military. She was in the military. And people would go into that place 
into that jump room next to her and they would disappear. They wouldn't come. They, they, they don't, she don't know where she went. She would hear people in the jump room. And when, when she would look out, when she look into, when she would go look, knock on the door, there was nobody in those rooms. So it was using that jump room. I forgot what movie this is, but they show you how the Hiltons, they are, they are, they are jump rooms. But what they do is they bring these other, um, yeah, this is ridiculous, man. Bro, they messing with, every time I said, every time I talk about jump rooms, they cut my life. Um, so basically they jump, they use jump rooms to go to other, to other um, planets throughout the solar system. Not even planets, but other realms, okay? Other realms. All the other planets are basically other realms that, can, that they can go to, okay? So what they'll do is they'll go to different realms and basically they'll take other created humans and bring them here to see how they would fare in this environment. That's what they would do. They would take the jump room. So a lot of Hiltons, a lot of Hiltons throughout the world, they're portals. As you can see, there's a lot of portals that are coming to the light. Y'all think it's just a few portals in this. No, there's a lot of portals in this, in, in this planet. Just like how you can, just like how you can basically go within yourself, right? Each of your cells, each of your cells. Think about this, right? Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous, bro. Man, yeah, this is ridiculous. So what I was saying is, imagine all the cells within your body, right? Okay, all your cells are basically black holes, okay? You're able to collapse within these black holes and all the cells within your body correlates to a different part of this galaxy, right? Okay? All the cells within your body correlate to a different part of your galaxy. We used to be able to collapse within ourselves, within a black hole, within these cells within our within our body, and basically appear out of nowhere, appear into another dimension. I even have, um, and these are these are um, what you call melanated people. I'm gonna let y'all know. Corey Good basically talk about this, where he met these beings, where he met these beings. See, they they never they they hardly ever tell you that these beings are melanated. That's what that's the other thing. But when they do, they do. When they do, I catch them. When they do, I catch them. They're gonna catch it. Every time I every time I, I always find good information about melanated people where they're basically when they meet other um, people in the military industrial complex, but they when they but they, they don't they 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 are they're in a hush hush about this, really, really hush hush. But it's these um African melanated shamans, right? And the way that they would basically communicate, they would dance. You know, they're very telepathic, but they would dance. Man. This is interesting as hell, bro. This is interesting as hell, y'all. Look, y'all, I apologize. I really don't. I apologize. I'm not doing this. This is literally TikTok doing this shit. I literally, I apologize. I'm not doing none of this shit. But obviously, TikTok don't want people to hear this information. Obviously, TikTok does not want people to hear information. This is so annoying, man. Okay, looks like I got a little bit of stable connection, man. This is, wow. But, okay, so everybody's lives is acting up. Everybody's live. So, if that's the case, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say they're doing it. I'm not going to say they're the ones that's messing with the live. I was just about to say that. It is a storm. It is a storm. Uh, thank you, Brian. Is it Brian who said that? Eleven, no, divine insight, divine light. Appreciate sure that. Yes, there is a huge geomagnetic storm going on, y'all. Um, I just posted it on my on my on my Instagram. Um, a thirty a thirty foot uh, like um, a hole the size a hole on the sun just opened up where it can fit thirty Earths, thirty Earths in that junk, right? So solar winds are coming high, about almost 2 million miles an hour solar winds are coming by. And I think tomorrow, tomorrow, well, today, Friday, was when we're, we're like, like getting, getting the brunt of it. So there's a huge, a lot of geomagnetic um, 
huge geomagnetic storms are coming. And I've been feeling it. Like my 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 head has been literally been pulsating. My head's literally been pulsating. Um Am I still been on IG? Hell yeah, I'm been on IG. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm been on my I'm been on IG, bro. I am been on IG. Okay. So I can't go on IG. The only thing I can do is go on my YouTube. We should collab. I got info. I can't post on my profile. Oh, man. I don't mind collabing, bro. Save fly path. Look, I'm going to give you... I'm going I'm to I'm keep up with you, my brother. I just hit the I just hit the friends button. I don't want to fall low, so I'm going to hit that friends button, my boy. I just... Yeah, man. Um, Hit me up. Um... Cause I'm so busy, bro. I got a lot of shit going on. But I just hit you up, my brother. Uh, save life, path seven. Save the world. God damn, that's a long ass name. That must be your superhero. I hope that's not your superhero name. Cause that's a long ass name. I hope that's not your superhero name. But um, but yeah. Um, so we could. So we. Could, it's cutting out again. Now it's working. No more glitching. Okay, we flowing. We Gucci. Okay. Oh man. Bro, when are you and Voila me gonna collaborate again? I'm gonna tell you this, bro. It won't happen, man. It won't happen. I remember when I went on a live with with uh, Wallamy. The reactions that I was getting was not it. The reactions that I was getting from him and his crowd was not it. Solely because I was not catering to anybody who's not me. You know what I'm saying? Solely because I was not catering to anybody who's not me. Now, I'm not going to say... Your boy is in cahoots with these people, but your boy is in cahoots with these people. Okay? So, I don't think that's ever happening. Because when I confronted him about it, he basically, he basically, um, he basically, he he admitted it. He admitted it and he didn't say nothing. I didn't say, he didn't say nothing. I'm not, I don't need to further elaborate and go into detail, but basically it's not happening. I'm going to just let you know that. That's it. I need to check out later space weather new. You need to check out later space weather new. What is that? No, I'm not saying he's an agent. I'm not saying he's an agent. What I'm saying is he's basically he's catering to people's egos. He's catering to people's. You know what? I don't even need to go into details, man. I like. I really look. Y'all really think I? I don't like talking about people. I don't like talking about people. I really don't. I don't. Like when it came to the videos of me exposing ISIS wisdom, when it came to me to exposing the video of uh, Rashad Jamal, I didn't want to do that. But because people can't see past the symbolism, the numerology, the colorology, all that Freemasonic bullshit, I had to step in and say something because a lot of a lot of you, you have no idea how many people have came up and hit me up and told me that since I made that video about, you know, ISIS wisdom. Bro, so many people hit me up and told me that, yeah, they got they got got by her. They got got by her. So, again, you know, and then when I posted the video, they were like, damn, man, I was about to get a reading from her. I'm glad I seen this video before that, you know, because a lot of people are not your people. OK, just because they look like you don't mean they're you. Remember, you have disagreeables and agreeables. OK, so looks like I'm good right now. OK, the jump rooms. Yeah. So uh, the jump rooms. Right. So. The jump rooms, okay. So they again. Each planet, you are a cell in this earth. You are the cells of earth, right? You are the cells of earth. 
All the planets are the cells of the galaxy. The galaxies are the cells of the universe. The universe are the cells of the multi-universe. Okay, that being said. So there are infinite amount, there are infinite number of dimensions that you can go on. Each planet is what you call a realm. Okay, it's a realm. Okay, we live in an infinite plane of potentiality as a realm. So um, this, this earth is a lot bigger than you think. We're just covered in a dome right now. We're underwater, right? Because again... Water is consciousness. Water is consciousness. Water is alive, right? We are encapsulated in time and space, okay? We are encapsulated in time and space. That's why we're in a dome. So if we're inside of a dome, right, we are stuck in somewhere in time and space, space-time, okay? Space-time is, uh, is is more better, not, not time and space, but space-time, right? Same thing as like, you know, imagine this is a, what's it called? A, uh, a snow globe, right? We are, everything outside of a snow globe is water, but we are in here inside of a snow globe and we're able to do a lot of things, but we are literally um, being manipulated by these um, um, malevolent beings, okay, that basically taken over. So, um, so your cells are equivalent to basically the other realms in this planet. So once you get to a certain level, right, once you're, once you're, once you become once once you become ascended again, right? When you become ascended, you're going to be able to collapse within yourself and within yourself, your cells, right? And basically appear on other realms where you want to appear. It's kind of like astral projection. When you if you, anybody does knows about astral projection or the prevalent astral projection, prom, um, when you think about a certain place or when you think about something, it appears in your hand. Like if I think about a drink in astral projection, right? It's gonna appear in my hand. If I think about a place that I want to go in astral projection, I'm going to appear there because I'm thinking about it. The only thing that really exists is the, is the mind itself. Everything else is not is not is not real. So, hold on, y'all, man. Let me turn this. Let me turn this. Let me turn this AC on right now because this is just hot. Okay, um, so it looks like my connection is a little stable right now. So should I should I continue playing the video? Should I continue playing the video? What's behind me? My YouTube is Conscious Juice. It's in the link is in the bio. It's Conscious Juice. Conscious Juice. What do you call that behind you? That's my guard dog. <laughs> That's my guard dog. <laughs> That's my guard dog, baby. A shadow. A shadow, the guard dog. <laughs> a shadow, the guard dog. No, I'm just kidding. That's my. That's Anubis, man. That's Anubis. Anubis is what you call... Anubis is the guy, uh, you know... The Anubis is basically the god between life and death, okay? So, again, we come from the Sirius star system. A lot of some of the Sirius star system, right? The dog star. Well, the jackal, the dog, you know what I'm saying? He is basically the... This is where you basically go before you enter the realm of the ancestors, okay? The land of Duat, okay? You go through Anubis. You must weigh your heart on the scales of Ma'at. Your heart on the scales of Ma'at between the feathers. So... That's what Anubis is. He is a dog. He is a god. He is basically where you go through before you enter serious. Before you really get serious. Okay. Um, damn, you know what? I was supposed to. I'm going I need to make a video, y'all, and show y'all that the world that we live in is basically an amalgamation or a mirror verse to Sirius B. Sirius B is basically where the artificial intelligence is, okay? The artificial intelligence has created a mirror verse within Sirius B, right? And this is the artificial intelligence mirror verse that we're living in right now. Again, everything is everything is not what it seems. We are living in a hologram. We are living this is the matrix. We're living in a hologram. We are projecting our consciousness into this physical world, into this physical world. So, um Again, once you see this, once the, the, the moon cycle is over, which is why the moon is falling down right now, 
The moon fall, the moon is completely falling down. Every single day that shit get every month that shit get worse and worse. <laughs> you would think <laughs> every single month that moon get worse and worse. But yeah. Um I'm just I'm I'm gonna show you, I need to show y'all that video. But it's an interesting video. Um but it's funny cuz I knew this. But yeah, I need to make that video, y'all. I'm tired of posting on TikTok. I really, I really don't like talking, coming on TikTok. I mean, no, posting on TikTok. I'd rather come on live and kick shit with y'all. You feel me? Look, Brian, look, I just, let me see. Hold on. Look, hold on. Let me show y'all this right quick. Look, this was, I took this picture today of the moon. Wow. Look at this shit, y'all, right? Look at this. So I posted this on my, on my Instagram, right? It goes, they, they are trying to attack me at every angle, right? Your post goes against our community guidelines. Remove your post because it goes against our community guidelines or hate speech. So let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I posted, right? Let me show y'all what I posted, what they basically are calling hate speech. And then we're going to continue this. And then we're going to continue this. We're going to continue this video because I want to show y'all this, but... Let me show y'all what, what basically they got me for. Boy, I tell you, man. Boy, I fucking tell you. Boy, I tell you, man. Where's it at? This is what this is what I posted. All right? So who brought the training? Who, who brought the pedophile? So. Hold on. No, thank you. Who brought the pedophile? We want to know. We want to know. Oh, we're medically exempt. Thank you, though. Who brought the... So, I know TikTok. I know TikTok be on that shit, too. So, I'm not even going to play the whole video. But basically, it's basically these people, right? You know, the people who start with the L, ends with the Q. Now, I find it ironic that that person that's in the school with children right they are a registered p okay they are a registered p but as long as you are with the community the l community and with the q community it's okay it's okay for you to go to the schools and talk to children it's okay they don't see you as having a mental disorder they don't see you. meanwhile me right if I think my name is Bob and I'm speaking like a white guy, I have what you call what schizophrenia or I'm crazy. But if I think I'm another gender, then basically uh, it's OK. As long as long as with the with the with the L, L, L community, it's OK because I can identify as another gender. But if I if I think I'm white, right, if I think I'm white, then something's wrong with my mind. I have a, I don't have I have a mental illness, but for them, it's OK to go out there and confuse children. But that's what Instagram basically just just removed. But here we go. It's okay. So that basically takes me to a whole nother level. It, it, it takes me to a whole nother level of band. All right. <laughs> oh, man. It says your account may be deleted. Post removed for hate speech or symbols. Okay. And I'm gonna re I'm gonna repost it right back. I'm gonna repost it right back. It's all good. I'm gonna repost it right back. Um, I don't even remember what I was gonna show y'all. Damn, I don't even remember what I was gonna show y'all. Oh yeah, the moon. Let me sh hold on. Let me. Sh so I took this picture of the moon. Check this out. So it's supposed to be like a new moon, but that's the moon. Check this out. Look at this plasma being up there. Check this out. But that's supposed to be the that's supposed to be the moon. And look, right? Check this out. 
And then later, and 30 minutes later, the moon completely disappeared. The moon was out. The moon was out. There was no moon in the sky. I don't know what it looks like right now, but when I when I went to go look back at the moon, there was no moon in the sky. No moon in the sky. So this is literally telling you that the matrix, I mean, they're showing you how the matrix breaking down. You know, it's showing you how the matrix breaking down. But wow, that's crazy, man. But all right, let's continue this, man, because I'm, I mean, I'm tired of this shit, bro. I just want this matrix to be done and over with, man. Honestly, honestly, man. Let's continue this shit, bro. To hide the serration on the bottom of their teeth, and That's they good. might also wear foundational makeup bit. to hide how pale their skin is. Now, if the Centaurians are gonna wear contact lenses to hide the, especially if they have the violet color of their eyes, but definitely the, the pupils too. They have to wear a snap-in uh, dental plate to hide the serration on the bottom of their teeth. And they might also wear foundational makeup to hide how pale their skin is. Now, it's with heavy heart that I have to talk about this um, because I knew from Henry Deacon all the way back in 2007 that there was a city a small town in America, the most important small town in America, in which there was, a, there was a treaty, a secret treaty with the Centaurians, who, by the way, are nonviolent. They're not evil. They're, they're good people. They're actually, if you, if you get to talk to them, they will look you in the eye, and you don't speak. You don't move your mouth. They don't move their mouth. But you have this incredible conversation and you feel incredibly high. You actually get this like very powerful euphoric drug-like effect just from being in their presence. So there was a treaty and I was notified about this in 2007 and I've heard about this town ever since from three or four different insiders and you probably can see where this is going, Paradise, California. Paradise, California is, is a name I've been hiding for 11 years and it's the most important small town in the United States where these people were being given safe haven and refuge. Now, there's some weird stuff, okay, that I'm gonna tell you, including the fact that Paradise had dentists who were trained in how to treat their teeth because of course with the serrated bottom and the wideness, the teeth are wider than ours um, and there's fewer of them. And I think there's also something funny about the root structure um, they can't just get a normal dentist. Obviously, the dentist would flip out and lose his mind. So they, have, they had special people living in paradise who knew about these folks and were trained on how to handle them and how to deal with them, right? People are going to ask me, how many of these Centaurians were living in paradise? And the answer is I don't know. Um, from the briefings I've gotten, I would, and this is absolute speculation, it's only a guess, and I would say it's probably at least 500. It might even be a few thousand, I don't really know. What I do know is that I was going to visit Paradise, California at some point. I'd planned on it, and this is, I've never talked about this before, this is a world exclusive, okay? And I'm not making this up, I've got recordings with Henry Deacon going back to 07, 08, 09, that I could dig out where we're talking about Paradise, California. This is nothing new. And I've had three other insiders confirm that these treaties exist and that it, it, the only two cities like this in America were Paradise and some place in Nevada that we don't even know exactly where it is. So why would this happen? Why would the most important city in America for human extraterrestrials burn down so fast that people died in their car trying to pull out of the driveway, right? And the question that I want to know is, were we on the verge of a disclosure event? Were we on the verge of these Centaurians introducing themselves to us collectively? And did that possibility so anger the cabal that they said, we'll show you guys, because I've seen photographs, and I'm gonna have it in my article if I can dig them up again, 
of laser beams coming down, igniting these fires. You can see the beam through the smoke and the flames. This was not an accident. This is the harp stuff where they can create a very fast blowing wind. The Santa Ana wind, which is originally Satana, the satanic wind, right? Um, and they just changed the name to Santa Ana. There is no Saint Ana, you know? That's, they just didn't want it to be Satanas, which is what it was originally called, Satan. The, because it blows fire. So, wow. The Paradise thing is really upsetting because we've never seen a city get so devastated in, in the history of America. And so many of these people who are Look totally innocent shit, yeah. and were probably getting ready to risk their lives and come forward and introduce themselves to us, probably many of them have died. And it's also like the cabal saying, if you guys talk again, if you think you're going to talk again, we're going to do this to you again. So I find the whole thing very, very sad. Wow, yeah. that is just shocking. So, so paradise. So, what you're telling us is Paradise City has been decimated completely. Well, now th they may not have all gotten hit, and I'll tell you another weird thing about the Centaurians. Um, they can't really live above the ground for too long on Earth. They like it here because of the of course, sun, paradise, baby. Got redwood trees because of the corn, sun. It's an amazing wilderness paradise that's why they named it paradise because it was so beautiful so it would make sense that these people if they get a treaty that they would want to live in such a beautiful place right the part that we don't really see though is that predominantly they live in an underground base and so what they will have and again i'm sorry because this is going to sound like sci-fi and you're going to have these people the keyboard jockeys they're going to be like ah oh, david wilcock he's so crazy right <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what I know. You can laugh. If sometimes you need to laugh to learn the truth, you know. He's so hilarious. But they predominantly live in underground bases. And All right, see? They live in underground bases, right? So they will, as part of the treaty, they might be given a house, but then the house will have an elevator shaft that will actually go deep down and then go down to one of these sub shuttles where they can shuttle over to their underground city. So the house is not necessarily where they live all the time. But then the question is, uh, can they get to their elevator fast enough to get down below where the fire is? How many of them actually died? How many of them burned up? I don't know. You know, the, the Alliance is in the middle of what they call active operations right now the final stage of getting ready to defeat the Cabal, so the briefings have dried up. But I would imagine a lot of Centaurians died in this fire, and they didn't, they couldn't act fast enough, because literally, as I said, people are trying to evacuate, and the fire was so fast, they didn't even have time to make it to their car. Wow, very interesting. That is crazy. Yeah. And, and just for the record, people on our show that subscribe are gonna totally buy that elevator story. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to be jockeying. <laughs> well, our fans, yeah. <laughs> Probably. They're, they're just, right now, they're at home like this. <laughs> like we are, too. So, um, David, real quick, I, I'm trying to remember, because we, we actually did a, um, a series on uh, different, uh, an alien, we did two alien guide videos, which I thought it was the Centarian, Centarians, but it, maybe I'm getting confused now. Which one was it that you said they were like really big and buff, but if you, if you find out about them, they might like follow you or something and they're working within the government? Centaurians, yes. Like what's the difference between like this group, like this group of Centaurians and the ones that, is it basically, I mean, from my understanding too, there could be some that are working with the cabal and then some that are, you know, just trying to live very peaceful and maybe just, just studying the human race or whatnot. So I'm glad you brought that up um, because it is an opportunity for me to make some clarifications. So first of all, it's very rare that you would see a Centaurian walking around in public unless it was Paradise, California, without a military escort. And this is going to be a guy who is roided out. You know, he's going to have the big steroid face, the, you know, the acromegaly where his head is really big, his jaw is really big, he's really overly strong. So you're going to see a roided out military contractor dude walking around kind of on the periphery with the Centauri. There's nothing that would stop him from wearing a wig or dyeing their hair, so you're not necessarily going to see him with white hair. Uh, I did hear that they were also cleared 
by treaty to interact with the farmers markets in California. So for whatever reason, if you go to the farmers market in LA and you see somebody who's really strong and looks kind of pale, you know, that could be one of them. Now, when I asked about this, because I'm getting very different, I get a very different version of the Centaurians from, for example, Corey Good and a couple others than I got from uh, Henry Deacon. And it took me a while to figure out this is all the same group. Now, let's also be clear, these are not the Anshar. They are not the inner earth civilizations that we're talking about. And let me let me be clear, man. Let me be clear. You see this an, these Anshars that they just showed, they're 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 actually melanated beings. They are actually melanated beings. Again, they try to make all, because in the original in the original um Anshar showing um, with Corey Good and David Wilcock, they show the Anshar as melanated beings. So now when they go on Edge of Wonder, they change it to white people. Oh. That Corey was talking to as the Anshar. It's a totally different group. And also another thing that people have gotten very confused about is that there really is not the Anshar are basically a subgroup of the Haitian people. That's that's who the Anshar is. They are sub uh, another subgroup of the Haitian people, the Israel one of the Israelites. You know, the names that the military industrial complex gave various ET races were not exact. And so when you hear the term tall whites, there's a few different types of ETs that could be called tall whites. And so it is not like, oh, well, he's talking about the tall whites. That's, I know about tall whites. So these are, the, these are the Pleiadians who were grafted out of melanated Pleiadians. These right here, these are the uh, white Pleiadians that were grafted out of melanated Pleiadians. Okay, they were, cre they were created. So a lot of people, the fallen, um, man, this is, y'all got so much, um, I mean, the people who know, know, but, these people were also created in a lab, okay? They were also created in a lab. These, these fourth dimensional Pleiadian beings, they were created in a lab as well. And so they Charles are a part of this whole problem. Tall did the whole thing, and I know what they are, and they, they look like grays. It's like, no, 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 no. There's lots of different tall whites, okay? It's, they just call you that because you're tall and your skin is white. So like, the, the, the various insectoid races, they might call them the crickets, all these, they might call them the All of these created, all of these beings were created, lab created, all of them. Bugs, they might call them the mantis people, they have different names for them, but there could be a lot of different types of insectoids too, you know, so, um, and again, this is all stuff that people are gonna be learning. They, they might laugh right now, your audience, the core audience probably doesn't, but uh, anything that you see on earth, if you can imagine it being progressed forward to the point that it is hominid and intelligent, you can imagine that those types of beings exist somewhere. You hear that? what it is. You hear that? The biosphere of a planet pretty much stays the same as what we have here, but it then depends on which species gets elevated to intelligent life, at which point it's going to have the hominid head, two arms, two legs, or so-called five-star formation. Which is, so, which is some of what the Anunnaki was doing here, right? How they came here and created other beings and put them on here. Um, and then they would create other planets, put them on there as well. Again, this is a, it's, this is a huge, huge science experiment um, where the disagreeables have been doing this. So, getting back to these tall whites, getting back to the Centaurians and the core of what you were asking me. If you're dealing with some of the military-minded Centaurians, the folks who are here for sort of like their national defense. Those types, or national, nation, race, whatever you want to call it, okay, it's probably not a nation. The defense types, yes, you do not want them to know that you recognize them. You probably would get telepathically tracked. You probably would get abducted. And then they would actually be able to give you a splice and a mind wipe where you don't remember ever seeing them. And you don't remember the contact or the abduction experience. Now. They're not going to torture you, but they're going to blank slate you and you're not going to remember it. And they do this pretty frequently. So it's not a good idea to go looking for Centaurians. I'm going to go to the farmer's market now every every weekend, you know. I'm going. Look for these white guys. <laughs> California, here I, I come. That. But there's other types of people because they have all different types of social strata. And the ones that were living in paradise appear to be the more peaceful types of Centaurians.
One of the things Henry Deacon told me is they, they hate crowds. It's like too much psychic interference. They don't want to be around a lot of people. So if you were going to see them in paradise, they would typically be like at the back corner of a coffee shop, sitting alone, and you might have a conversation with them where you never look at them. You sit near them at a different table, and you have this whole telepathic thing going on, a very entertaining and, and blissful conversation, and then at the end you might just turn to them and kind of smile and give them a nod, and otherwise you might not even look at them. So um, it's like any culture, they're complicated. It's not like there's simple little boxes you can put them in. Another thing I can tell you that's a, another world exclusive for you guys, <laughs> and again, you know, the people are going to laugh, and I apologize, but um, Centaurians are very psychic, and so one of the things that they have for entertainment is treaties where they will go from their underground home to this base under Las Vegas. They'll take elevators up. They'll close down certain casinos at certain times. They'll take elevators up from the base into the casino, which most of these casinos have those, because there's a lot of relationship between casinos and the military industrial complex, actually, and the mafia. So they'll bring these Centaurians and certain other human ET groups up into the casino. And then what they do is literally like a psychic Olympics in which they are competing with each other to cheat in these Vegas games like roulette, poker, uh, you name it. How, who, who is better at being able to psychically pick each other's cards? Who is better at being able to manipulate where the little roulette ball goes? How the dice roll if you're playing craps? And they know that everybody's cheating, but it's this kind of ET Olympics in terms of which group can out-cheat the other group at Vegas. And so this is one of the things they do as a sporting event, believe it or not. And again, it sounds so bizarre, but this is the kind of weird stuff that I hear. David, how do I, how do I sign Ben up for that? <laughs> I gotta get him in there. It was a lot of money. Also, I just want to say, thank you for putting my mind at ease. I always knew there was a conspiracy revolved around California <laughs> farmer's markets. I knew it. I knew there had to be. <laughs> I, can go to, I can go to sleep really well tonight. No, no you're good. Uh, you got to watch out for those daikon roots and those arugula vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I knew those mushrooms were weird. <laughs> It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and going back to Vegas, I mean, that that's, I mean, we, we've heard that too, where, where uh, a lot of these ETs actually will go to Vegas and they just like hanging out and gambling and seeing what... I guess that's why what happens in Vegas stays, stays in Vegas. Stays in Vegas. <laughs> I don't think they're allowed by these treaties to snooker normal people. Um, from my understanding, they will, they will have a special event. They will close the casino down. And then you'll have these people in there competing against each other, but not against ordinary folks because, you know, they would just, they would just devastate people and they would make so much money that you can't really let them do this amongst ordinary people, even if they look like us and we wouldn't be able to tell them apart from others. They only really do this as these sort of special functions where they're only working against their own people and others like them in this sort of psychic Olympics. So David, on this subject, what do you, like especially relating to the fire, getting back to the fires and the um, centurions, like how would President Trump, do, do you think they know about what's going on here? I don't know. I mean, that's, Part of why I wanted to write this article, which I'm still developing, I'm getting close to being finished with it now, is that I don't know I'm if so fat. Brendan, Trump you're not and his fat. administration even know about the Centaurians, honestly. And the reason why I say this is Pete Peterson, who was again uh, called Dr. Do by Reagan and Cheney and Rumsfeld, that whole Reagan administration, he was their number one technology advisor. He, he had an amazing ability to invent interesting stuff his grandfather was Nick all right y'all lab assistant that's it for that one yeah so y'all got any y'all got any questions i apologize 
Y'all got any questions for this before we continue? Oh, should we continue? Oh, check this out. So remember the jump rooms? I don't know if this is a video. Is this a video? I know. If you haven't heard, the Seattle-based attorney, Mr. Andrew Baziago, claims he was a child participant in the secret U.S. government program Project Pegasus. He claims that he and others, including President Obama and the head of DARPA, which one felt either as if one was moving at a great rate of speed or moving not at all, as the universe was wrapped around one's location. Asiago claims he was present at Lincoln's Gettysburg Address in 1863 by visiting from a plasma confinement chamber in East Hanover, New Jersey in 1972. I have been dressed in period clothing as a Union bugle boy, he said. I attracted so much attention at the Lincoln speech site at Gettysburg, wearing oversized men's street shoes that I left the area around the dyes and walked about 100 paces over to where I was photographed in the Josephine Cog image of Lincoln at Gettysburg. But yeah, this is um, Obama, um, Obama basically going to jump rooms in Mars, right? And remember I told you I would show y'all why you guys are, why you guys took a liking to Obama? Remember I told y'all? Let me show y'all. Check this out. Let me show y'all why you guys are attracted to Obama. To this out. Obama is a reincarnate, is a clone of Akhenaten, the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten. Look at this. So this is why, again, a lot of melanated people really liked Obama. Right. See, again, they can clone us, but they're not us. Obama's not a real person. He's not. A real, this is why they never found his birth certificate. Remember that? Remember it was a thing. Remember that was a thing. Oh, this guy is not. We we can't let him. We can't. We can't let him uh, be president because he never got his birth certificate. But what whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to that? But yeah, this is why a lot of people like Obama because he is a reincarnated, not reincarnated, but the clone of Akhenaten. He is a clone of Akhenaten. And he even tells, look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. But let me, look, check this out. Hold on. Join the pyramids outside and in. Purification, mummification. Self-identification. Like Self-identification. <laughs> Separated at birth from a hieroglyphic. So he even tells you, that looks like me. Because again, that is him. They clone Akhenaten and they put a bomb. Separated at birth from a hieroglyphic, but the birth inspired Egyptians to display decorations calling Obama the new King Tut of the world. See? But even the new King Tut couldn't budge a pyramid. So you think. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. So, yeah, there you go. That's why a lot of people really like Obama, because he is the clone of Akhenaten. And. Show y'all this. We don't need to play that video. We don't need to play that video, but but yeah, y'all have any y'all have any questions? I think since I've been on for an hour and thirty minutes already, I'm gonna just cut this live short. Cause uh yeah, they've been fucking with my lot this whole time. Well, the sun been fucking with my lot the whole time. Let's get it. Um, <laughs> says no one likes Obama. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> they were tricked. They were tricked to like uh, Obama. They were tricked to like Obama. Serious B. No, nah, I'm not getting into Serious B right now. That's a whole different conversation. I would have to do a live on Serious B. And honestly, I might stop coming on TikTok and just go on YouTube. Honestly, because this is ridiculous, man. At least YouTube, at least YouTube don't put me through hell like this, where I have to wait until I got green, until I, until I can go. Let me 
say, hey, so I asked for divine help and then your love got better? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do no live on no Series B right now, but I would def I would definitely do a live on Series B. Cause I got stuff. I got um. I always. I always. I what I do is I bring receipts. I always bring receipts. I always bring receipts. And I don't just get into things. I cause I, I. I like to bring receipts. So I put things up, and then I play them, and I show. I show articles and all this type of stuff. That's what I do. That's what I do. I don't just come in. You know, talk shit. Even though I can talk shit, but I want to make sure that you know people people are visual most people are visual visual learners you know when you see something you're like oh my god you know if either i can talk some i can talk shit about something you can either believe me or not but if you see it with your own eyes then you're like okay i get it i see it you're live lol youtube was jammed tonight too oh okay there we go Please talk about Series B. I already talked about that. Our centaurs good. Um, the centaurs, the original centaurs are are, are are melanated. Okay, they are ether beings. Okay, um, but again, just like they do here, right? They take them and they basically um, and they they splice their DNA and do all this type of things that they do here. I don't know who. I seen your video about RJW. I don't, I don't know who's RJW. RJW? I don't know what RJW is, but I can't go on Instagram live because I'm banned on Instagram. I've been banned on Instagram fucking Instagram. Sorry as hell, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Instagram is sorry as hell. So look, right here. Universe is getting hot, baby. The universe is getting hot, hot. It's getting hot, hot. Okay, right? Everybody's getting hot. The universe is getting hot. Oh, Rashad Jamal, yep. Yeah. Um I don't again, I don't I'm not I just I just want to expose people for who they are, man. I just want to expose people for who they are. And Rashad Jamal was taking a lot of energy from people. Um people don't deserve that, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got to understand like if these these people don't go viral without help, I'm gonna let y'all. Oh, this that's what I wanted to play for y'all. Maybe I'll come on tomorrow and play this for y'all. But it's Project Pogo, Project Pogo, where basically the government basically hired a whole bunch of Instagrammers, TikTokers, uh, YouTubers to basically spread information. And what these what they do is, matter of fact, should we play this shit now? Oh, hold on, man. Matter of fact, y'all just come on tomorrow and do that. But I'm going to just come on tomorrow and do that. It's a 26 minute video, man. It's a, I, it's a 20, actually it's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like two hours long, but I cut it down to 26 minutes. But check this out, y'all. I'm going to show y'all this. Now, again, what's going on now, right? This is all about energy usurpation. Okay. This is all about energy usurpation, right? Now, check this out. Check this out, right? You tell me. Good evening to you. We are hearing. Okay. I want you. So, again, right? Symbology, numerology, colorology. And then if you know how to talk, if you know how to do gematria, then gematria it is, right? So, as you can see, right, in this video. You have a lady wearing a purple dress, right? Which is divinity, okay? This is red and blue coming together, right? Now, I've, I told you guys, you guys will never see a flag with purple on it because this signifies union between the mask, the divine masculine and the divine um, uh, feminine, okay? So um, not to mention, she's already throwing up a Freemason sign right there, you know, the the the, the, the pyramid. Nothing nothing bad about the pyramid in case people talk about, oh, no, it's not bad. It's just a mudra. Yeah, I get it. But this is what Freemason and Eastern stars do, okay? But um, but check this video out, y'all. So again, they're take they're making these videos in order to basically draw energy from you guys. So the people who cannot see the bullshit, they get caught up into the shit and pay attention to it and send their energy into it. But you can see the mother and daughter, okay? 
the mother and daughter, they're both in red and black. Mm -hmm. Red and black. From the mother of the two-year-old girl killed at the hands of her own father. Fox 26's Gabby Hart has been following this story from the start. and She joins us live. So, Gabby, what did the family have to say? Oh, I can tell you it was really an emotional interview. This family uh, had tears nice. flowing from their faces as they recalled the moments. You heard that her? The suspect, tears they flowing. The suspect, which is the child's father, FaceTimed them, even forcing the mother to watch uh, him injure her child and showing the grandfather that child's bloody and beaten body. Her face was just covered in blood. He hit her with something. Does, does that look like tears flowing to y'all? Something really hard. And then he, he called me on FaceTime. And he showed me that she, he choked her on FaceTime as I was on there. And he told me, I said, Trey, that is your daughter. That is your daughter. Stop. That is your daughter. She loves you. I care about her. You care about her. Like, that is your daughter. And he told me his exact words was, you only love that man, so you did this to her. Here's some more. <laughs> Look, she's trying not to laugh. Because <laughs> the acting is so bad, y'all. The acting is so fucking bad. Watson tells Fox 26 she's still numb in girl. the shock. Around 10 o'clock Monday morning, her child's father, identified by police as 25-year-old DeAndre Flanagan, Two plus five, stormed into her seven. job at Walmart right. in North Harris County. He had their two-year-old daughter, Zavea Marie, who had just now. Been Look, check this out. See, I on oh, never. You know what? Let's let's continue. Dropped off at daycare in his arms, and he began screaming at Watson. He just wanted my phone. He's screaming at me, cursing me out, telling me what's the passcode. Tell me the passcode, or she's gonna get it. Like, and I'm telling him the passcode, and I'm telling him it over and over and over. So over a passcode, you you th does that sound right to y'all? Does that sound right to y'all? Unalive a child because of a passcode. And then you're telling him the passcode and he still decides to unalive a child? Does that does that really sound right to y'all? I mean the world is going crazy. I see the world going crazy, but does it sound all right? Does that sound right to y'all? Come on, man. I, I'm still waiting for the tears that are supposed to be flowing, like that news anchor said. I'm still waiting for the tears flowing. Over it, but at the end of the day, I guess it just wasn't enough. After he took off with Zavea in hand, police say Flanagan took deputies on a 30 mile chase. Is that number three? Is that number three? The car right, eventually right here's six right here. Here's six right there. Here's that six and F. Look, they do all this for a reason. And F represents six again, okay? F represents six again. And guess what it's on, right? In Gematria, Fox stands for 666. I broke this down before. In Gematria, Fox stands for 666. But you see all this shit, right? You see all this shit going on. Eventually came to a stop on Stubner Airline Drive. They don't. They don't just put these pictures in for no reason, y'all. Just like I told y'all, when they make movie, uh, movie trailers, they pick. They they pick specific scenes in movie trailers in order to show y'all what's Memorial, going on. Where officers took Flanagan into custody uninjured, but little Zavea required. Now, now hold on, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. What parent? would put their picture's daughter, I mean their daughter's picture with the devil on. Hmm? What parent gonna do that? Hmm? What what parent would do that? Hmm? This is all for energy usurpation. All for energy usurpation. All to take it. Look at this. Look at this shit, y'all. Right? Look at this. CPR until life flight arrived. She died at the hospital. She was just such a happy baby, and I just know she's at peace. Watson says in the week leading up to this incident, she had to contact police on three different occasions about his uh, his other three. His other three. Again, but she was told there was nothing they could do. The first day he took he took my child, like I was giving her a bath in the tub. He stormed in, and he took her like out the Listen. tub. She wasn't even dressed. And he just took her out the house and drove away in a car. We've been going our separate ways. And I let him be, but he just, he couldn't let me be. He couldn't let me be happy. He couldn't let me move on with my life. His family now Yo. sharing their story, hoping it helps someone else. And I now, I want you to watch this guy. I wonder about how many others of Vegas is around the world right now. Y'all see him? Y'all see him, right? Look at his, y'all see his... Throwing up the 666, right? 
Y'all see that, right? Y'all didn't catch it, right? Y'all didn't catch it? Why did, why did he have to snap his fingers like that? Put his two fingers together like that. About how many others of is around the world right now running Look at that, States man. Right now, that's having the same problem. This in the city, that's in the state. We got to help one another. We got to help one another. Uh, now, that suspect is charged with murder. He was set to appear in court today, but waived his right to appear. I can tell you that a judge set his bond at $1 million. That's for this family. They do have a fundraiser. Now, the, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I find it I find it very suspicious because when I went to go look at the 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 court the court thing, right? I want to know how they got this shit ready so fast. Because this happened yesterday. This nigga's already he's already in court. He's already in court, right? For all this stuff. Nobody's grieving over the daughter. I don't see nobody, no family over there with candles, no, no nothing, no, no, no nothing, no, no, no flowers, no balloons or nothing like that. You get what I'm saying? Not to mention, this happened, what's today? Today is, today is the 24th now. This happened on, on the 22nd, okay, right? The girl was two years old and this happened on the 22nd, 222, two, two. here's your, here's your, here's your six right there. Here's your six right there, right? Here is your six right there. And not to mention, t yesterday was just the year of the skull and bones. The skull and bones. The same reason why your boy Takashi 6 9 um, pulled the stunt of him getting beat up. Because all this shit is really a stunt. All that shit is really a stunt. Okay? So, you mean to tell me Takashi 6 9 was in... I, I'm not even going to go through it. But again, I could see through the bullshit. I, I just could just... I, yeah, I, I could just see through the bullshit, man. Nobody can, nobody can get over me. Nobody can get over me when it comes to stuff like this. But I just wanted to show y'all all this shit. All this BS crap that's going on, right? Because I told y'all, a lot, a lot this year, because it is the year of the skull and bones, because it is the year of the skull and bones, a lot of more rituals are going to happen because um, they want to take your energy. This is the divine year seven, okay? Um, y'all want to... Let me show y'all. Check this out. And look at this. Y'all want to hear what the, the the Skull and Bones is all about? <laughs> and hear how they get down? And who's part of the Skull and Bones? Let's watch this right quick. It's a little 10-minute ten video, 10 video. The Skull and Bones Secret Society was officially founded at Yale University in 1832, but finds its roots in Freemasonry and takes its symbology from the pirates. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this, right? All cops... Are part of the are, are part of the uh, the Skull and Bones fraternity. Just to let y'all know, all cops, and I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all later. Hold on. And Brotherhood of Death. Brotherhood like of the death. Masons, Bonesmen choose their own initiates, and the only way to enter the Brotherhood is to be tapped by an existing member. Right. Only 15 members are accepted each year, which is absolutely amazing, considering the number of important historical figures who just happen to be Skull and Bonesmen. For instance, U.S. Presidents William H. Taft, George Herbert Walker Bush, and George Walker Bush were all three members of Skull and Bones. All clones. The following U.S. Senators, Prescott Bush, John Kerry, David Boren, Jonathan Bingham, John Chafee, John Sherman Cooper, James Buckley, Chauncey Depew, Frank Bosworth Brandegee, Robert A. Taft, William Maxwell Everts, and John Hines were all Skull and Bonesmen. Governors Avril Harriman, William Bissell, William Henry Gleason, Simeon Eben Baldwin, and David Boren were Bonesmen, and so were Congressman Frank Bosworth Brandegee, Howard M. Baldrige, and Jonathan Brewster Bingham. Supreme Court Justices Morrison Waite, Potter Stewart, William Taft, it gets more interesting. Simeon Eben Baldwin, and Edward Baldwin Whitney were all Bones brothers. Also Pierre J. The first chairman of the New York Federal Reserve and George L. Harrison, president of the New York Federal Reserve. You hear those? Y these are all po these are powerful people, and when these guys uh, revoke their 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 um, their positions, you think they're just gonna give it to old Joe Schmo down the, in the coffee in the coffee house next in the in the in the cafe? Do you think so? Do you think that? Both Bonesman. Fritz Springmeier wrote. 
Investigations revealed that the main purpose of the skull and bones Listen. is to get as many members as possible into strategically placed positions of power. You hear that? Robbins stated that President Bush has tapped five. Did you hear to that? Join his administration to get. Let me let's let's run that back again. Let's run that back just in case y'all didn't hear. Revealed that the main purpose of the skull and bones is to get as many members as possible into strategically placed positions of power. Robbins stated that President Bush. Y'all y'all noticed something yet? Y'all y'all noticed something yet? Y'all noticed something about them has yet? Has tapped five bonesmen to join his administration. One of them is current Securities and Exchange Commissioner William Donaldson, class of 1953. Donaldson will answer no questions about the bones. <laughs> you hear that? Right down the line, almost every bonesman has proven unbelievably successful in his chosen profession. Hmm. William Maxwell Everts. Class of eighteen thirty seven became hand. US Secretary of State, Attorney General, and a Senator. Wow. Russell Davenport, class of nineteen twenty three, was editor of Fortune magazine and created the Fortune five hundred list. Mm. Amory Ho Bradford, class of nineteen thirty four, married Carol Warburg Rothschild and was general manager for the New York Times. Richard Gao, class of nineteen fifty five, was president of George Bush's Zapata Oil Company. Winston Lord, class of 1959, was chairman of the CFR, ambassador to China, and Clinton's assistant secretary of state. Founder of the National Review and host of TV show Firing Line, William F. Buckley was a bonesman, and so was Henry Luce, the founder of Time Magazine, Life, Fortune, House and Home, and Sports Illustrated. Percy Rockefeller was a prominent businessman, founder and vice president of Owen Oak Corporation, and sat on the board of directors for over a dozen large corporations. Alfonso Taft was a U.S. Attorney General, Secretary of War, and ambassador to Russia and Austria. Look at this. His son this nigga look like a Muppet, boy. His head, that dude, that dude's head look like a Muppet. Look at this shit. They, wow, boy. They definitely, his tape up line looked like they did that shit with a pocket knife. They they made that dude's tape up line with a pocket knife. Where the this is, this is look at this fur. Look at this shit. Look at this. This is a pocket knife fucking tape up line. This is red. That wow. His man. son Let William Taft was president of the United States and chief justice of the Supreme Court. As Ron Rosenbaum said in a CBS interview, I think Skull and Bones has had slightly more success than the mafia in the sense that the leaders of the five families. Are all doing a hundred years in jail? You and hear the that shit? Of the Skull and Bones families are doing four and eight years in the White House. Mm. Many Bonesmen have graduated Hold with on, let me CIA. See what, let's read that right quick. Eight years in the White. When journalists tried exposing the club, he was warned that Bonesmen were on the council of his bank. They don't like people tampering and prying. The power of Bones is incredible. They've got their hands on every level of power. In the country, you hear that? They the bone. They don't like people tampering and prying. The power of the bones is incredible. They've got their hands on every level of power in the country. White House. Many bonesmen have graduated with CIA and intelligence community jobs waiting for them too.、Mm. F. Truby Davison, Wade, Howard Weaver, William Sloan Coffin Jr., V. Van Dyne. James Buckley, Bill Buckley, Hugh Cunningham, Hugh Wilson, Reuben Holden, Charles Look at the four R. Walker, stooges. Look at the four Robert Stooge. D. French, Jesus, Archibald、bro. McLeish,、oh、Dino、God. Pianzio, William and McGeorge Bundy, Richard Moore, and George Bush are all bonesmen with U.S. intelligence agency jobs. Look at the four Stooges right there.、That、As Yale、good. professor of history Gaddis Smith said, Yale has influenced the Central Intelligence Agency more than any other university. Giving the CIA the atmosphere of a class reunion, the Skull and Bones building at the Yale campus is called the Tomb. The imagery and decor inside the tomb is of death and darkness: crypts, tombs, skulls, bones, blood, knives, swords, armor, etc. Inside the tomb, the Skull and Bones brothers annually perform their infamous, strange. And sexually promiscuous initiations. Listen, ear-piercing screams are often heard from outside. 
You hear and that? many say the tomb radiates negativity that they feel physically. Mm. In April 2001, ABC News and the New York Observer filmed Bonesman enacting mock throat-cutting rituals. What? In the most rumored ritual, it is said each new initiate must lay down naked, blindfolded in a casket, and masturbate while other brothers stand in a circle watching. What? <laughs> One particularly notable Bonesman was George Bush Sr.'s grandfather, the banker and businessman yeah, George Herbert Walker, who was director of W.A. Harriman and Company, Harriman 15, American International Corporation. Yeah, I heard that. Y'all gonna run it Manganese back. Corporation. Yeah, I heard that right. Yeah, I heard that correctly, right? So to the people who want to basically get in these fraternal organizations and whatnot, this is the type of stuff y'all have no idea, man. Y'all have no idea the type of uh, stuff that they have to do, right? Y'all have no idea. Barnsdall Corporation, American Ship and Commerce Corporation, Union Banking Corporation, G.H. Walker and Company, Missouri Pacific Railroad, New Orleans, Texas, and Mexican Railroads. He was also a golf enthusiast and president of the USGA United States Golf Association. The biennial Walker Cup is named after him. He had three sons who all graduated Yale and became Skull and Bonesmen as well. George Herbert Walker Jr., co-founder of the New York Mets. Dr. John M. Walker became a CEO and Lewis Walker, a CIA agent. His daughter, Dorothy, married Bonesman Prescott Bush, who would become a U.S. Senator, CBS Board of Directors, Vice President of his father-in-law's business, Harriman and & Company, and father of George Bush. Skull & Bones members often pose on both sides of the political dichotomy. For instance, The Nation magazine and New Republic on the left were financed by Willard Strait, using Payne Whitney, Skull and Bones funds, while the National Review, on the right, was published by William F. Buckley, another Bonesman. In 2004, Republican George W. Bush ran neck and neck against Democrat John Kerry, his Skull and Bones fraternity brother and 16th cousin. As Dan Thompson wrote, both President yeah, Bush and John Kerry have appeared on national television with political pundit Tim Russert of Meet the Press. Both of them refused to answer any questions about their lifelong membership to the Skull and Bones fraternity. Their method of manipulation uses the bipartisan system as a control mechanism. By having members on both the political left and right, they create the boundaries, divide the issues, and control the playing field. You do the math. What are the odds that the top two candidates for the presidency of a 300 plus million person nation mm -hmm. would be 16th cousins and members of the same organization mm -hmm. reputed by many to be the most powerful secret society in America? Mm. In MSNBC interviews, when asked pointed questions about the implications of their membership in Skull and Bones, both Bush and Kerry laughed and changed the subject, refusing to answer. <laughs> As U.S. Naval Intelligence Lieutenant Commander Al Martin said, You have to look at the entire Bush family in this context, as if the entire family ran a corporation called Frauds Are Us. Each member of the family, George Sr., George Jr., Neil, Jeb, Prescott, Wally, etc., have their own specialty of fraud. George Jr.'s you specialty was insurance and security fraud. Jeb's. You heard that? George Jr. was insurance and what? Huh? Jr.'s specialty was insurance and security fraud. Now y'all understand why 9-11 happened, right? Now y'all understand why that big amount of money on the buildings were placed on 9-11, okay? Now y'all understand. Look at this, guys. So, again, majority of these guys are very versed in law, Okay? A lot. They even told you this, like all of your like your congressmen, your senators, your presidents, they are all lawyers. They are all lawyers. They know the law very well. They have to play by the law, so they have to know it very well. Jeb's specialty was oil and gas fraud. Mm. Neil's specialty was real estate fraud. Prescott's specialty was banking fraud. Wally's specialty was securities fraud. 
and George Sr.'s specialty? All of the above. All the above. Prescott Bush, <laughs> Jonathan Bush, George Herbert Walker, George Herbert Walker Bush, and George Walker Bush are all members of the Bush family in Skull and Bones. Mm. When George W. Bush entered office, he brought five bonesmen into his administration. Major players in Skull and Bones have financed both sides of world wars and the Russian Revolution. Mm. They have controlled the left-right political paradigm and helped pave the way for a new world order. In 1992, George H.W. Bush told White House reporter Sarah McClendon, quote, if the people were to ever find out what we, the Bushes, have done, we would be chased down the streets and lynched. Yeah, I hear that, right? Yeah, I hear that, right? That being said. And so in my state of the my state of the union, our state, my speech to the nation. What do you want to call it? Speech to the nation. <laughs> I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. And America needs a military where our breasts and brightest are proud to serve and this, proud to stay. This is this. If you're a single mother with two children, which is the toughest job in America Hit as far me as up. I'm concerned, and you're working hard to put food on your family, <laughs> the very question I ask, are, is our children learning? Good docs are getting out of business. Where is this? They're loved with what they can be. Saying in Tennessee. I this this is what I want right here. This is there's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, you can't get fooled again. Shame on, shame on you. Hey. Hey, you fool me, you can't get fooled again, boy. Um, that was your president. That was your president's one. Now, now y'all noticed that they were all white, right? There was not, I didn't, I didn't notice there was not one melanated person within the skull and bones. Listen, I have so much of this shit that I can't, I can't even pull, I can't show on TikTok or nothing like that. It's all on my Patreon. Look, I have so much shit on my Patreon. You know what I'm saying? I have the social credit stuff going on, right? Look, look at this. Look at this. Check this out. All the first ladies. All the first ladies, right? Look at this. Your girl is not the first one, okay? Your girl is not the first one, right? All the first ladies. All of, all of the first ladies. Check this out. Look, I got so much stuff. I got so much stuff on my Patreon, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all go check out my Patreon. Y'all go check out my Patreon. Hold on, y'all. Give me. What's going on, mama? Twins, are daddy's working right now, baby. Okay. Come here. Daddy be back. Daddy is soon, okay? All right, I love you. Daddy's online, okay? You all right? Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back and give you some cuddles, okay? All right, baby. I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, that was my daughter, y'all. <laughs> that was my daughter. Um, so, she's here with me. You know, I'm a I'm a daddy first. I'm I'm a daddy first. Just to let y'all know. Um I'm a daddy first. Everything else comes second. But yeah, um I've been here for a while. I wanted to share that with y'all. Um <laughs> But tomorrow I'm gonna come on and share this project pro this project pogo thing. Um, if y'all want to see more videos, man, y'all, y'all go check out, y'all go check out my Patreon. The link is in, is it, I think the link is in my bio over here. Okay. The link is in my bio. So, um, go check it out. Y'all the link is in the bio. I, I got plenty of videos, plenty of documentaries, plenty of lives that I did. That's been a while. Right. 
But uh, go check it out. The link is in the bio. Conscious uh, Patreon dot com backslash forward slash Conscious Juice. But yep, here we go, y'all. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm about to go give my daughter a little cuddle. You feel me? She is the only man. I am the only man that she has in her life, and I gotta show her. I I gotta show her what it's like to basically have a loving father figure because this is the type of individual that she will choose you know what i'm saying this is the type of individual she'll choose and i will give no chance of my daughter choosing some vodka bone off the street that don't basically treat her the way that she deserves to be treated so yeah y'all want to go check it yeah it's on my page the patreon yo it's in my bio patreon.com forward slash conscious juice but check it out y'all um but that being said y'all Tomorrow I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come with some more fire, some more heat. Man, I had something else to show y'all, but I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll just do it tomorrow. Just know, I just know I'm bringing the heat again. Just know I'm bringing that heat and bring that fire again. Okay? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Appreciate love that. Thank y'all for all the love. Thank y'all for so much love for the love, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? But this is a beautiful time to be alive. Be. What time? I have no idea. I pop on when there. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a swoosh. Hey, I pop on when a complexion. What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see. You. I pop on whenever I want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no time. Time does. I'm listen. I'm a timeless being. Time don't exist for me. I'm a timeless being. Time don't exist for me. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all. Yeah, time don't exist for me. But that's it for me, y'all. I appreciate love, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning to my frequency. You wanna. I want to do lives, bro. Just discuss stuff. Go ahead, bro. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Hit the lives, man. People will get on there. You know, just make sure you're catering to your, to the people that to the people that keep up with you. Okay. Thank y'all for tuning to my frequency. You only tune to my frequency because you resonate with the information I have. As we rise, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Come on, baby. All right. Peace, love, and light, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.